Hello everybody, my name is Selip, and welcome back to Song Fua. We are now on Chapter 7. In this episode, we're going to be fighting a Grand Werewolf, and we are also going to be learning about Wind. So things will be getting a little more complex, but this is not too difficult of a mission. So let's just hop right in there and watch some story real fast. You haven't seen my little girl Adele around here, have you? No, Theo. Nothing but wolves. We organized the search in the village. My dogs picked up a scent on your land, and since I don't really know this part of the forest... No, no, no. Don't need them. Anyway, with the wolves prowling around, I wouldn't bet much on the girl's chances. Wolves? I've been mayor for almost 12 years now, and I can assure you that there haven't been wolves in the woods around here for a long time. Go search to the west. We're too far from the village. The girl couldn't have come this far. The dogs must have made a mistake. If these guys are willing to help us... If I tell you we don't need these two, it's cause we don't need them. I'm the one who makes the decisions in the village. If you don't like it, you can run in the next election. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Don't get your shorts in a nut. Sorry to bother you, fellas. We'll keep our eyes peeled. I think the mayor doesn't really care much for us. Nobody likes us, Josie. Everybody's afraid of us. Wind. Always keep the wind's direction in mind when you're planning out your strategies. Enemies not only detect you by the noise you make, they can also track your scent. Your scent carried by the wind is shown as a cone on your minimap. Enemies that smell you will start to track you. Enemies will not stop tracking you as long as they can smell you. Okay, so as we can see, the mayor is a bit of a jerk, and we have some wind to deal with. This actually won't be too big of a deal, and we can actually use it to our advantage in this map. So, we have two waves here. On the first wave, we have uh, four Grand Werewolves going for our mill. We have a... Uh, I'm sorry, that's a Grand Wolf, not Grand Werewolf. And then we have one Werewolf heading to our barn, and three Wolves heading to our cabin. And then in the second wave, we have that Grand Werewolf that's heading for the barn. So, luckily, we have quite a bit of money. I'm just going to go spend this skill point real fast. I'm going to get the uh, Rage upgrade to help us out with a little bit of extra damage from our Rage. And for trap placement, we're going to go ahead and place a Spike Trap here. If we're lucky, that will kill all four. Most likely, though, it will just kill three. And then we'll have to deal with that single one. We're also going to place another spike trap here to deal with these three wolves. And that's actually all the traps we're going to place. Because if we do this correctly, we'll have just enough money. 495, perfect. We'll have just enough money to upgrade our axe, which definitely needs an upgrade since we're still using the starting axe. And then we will also be able to bless it. So let's buy the... Uh, Champion Felling Axe has a lot more damage compared to our uh, one damage. It has four out of five. And then we're going to go back. And we're going to visit the convent and have uh, the nun bless our axe. So there we go. And that's actually all we need to do to complete this mission. You could use other traps and stuff, but I just really need to upgrade that axe and I would prefer to do it that way. There's actually some cool boots that we uh, could get for $1.25 that make us be able to sprint for longer, but since we aren't really going to be needing to do a whole lot of running around in this mission, we'll get those later. So we're going to go ahead and start, make sure we equip our new axe, 
and we are a little low on bullets, but we aren't going to need any for right now, so that's fine. So let's get started. Is everything ready? Have the traps been set? Shh. Listen. It sounds like a little girl singing. Go back to the cabin. I'll go see what it is. Be quick about it. The sun is setting. Yes, so we do have a bit of a time limit in this mission. If we wait around too long, they will actually smell Adele and they will go and try to kill her. But luckily, we shouldn't have an issue with that. Okay, see that cone up there? That's where they're going to be able to smell us. So we're actually going to just hide over here for a second. So that way only the werewolf smells us and not those other wolves. If we're lucky that trap will kill all four, but like I said, I don't think it's going to, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, it didn't kill all of them. So what we're going to do is actually run up this way so he smells us and starts coming at us. And in the meantime, we'll start killing this werewolf. Which shouldn't be very big of an issue with our new axe, which is a pretty awesome axe, by the way. There we go. He's dead just in time. Now we can kill the Grand Wolf. There we go with our level 2 rage. And he is also dead. So, that's all for wave 1. We actually now have to head up to this waypoint. And we got ourselves an achievement there for getting her before half of the timer ran out. Which is nice. Nice little bonus. Watch a short little cutscene here. I won't let a wolf touch you, or my name isn't Lil Jack O'Carroll. Don't know why they add the Lil in front of there. Lil Jack O'Carroll, that's kind of funny. But anyway, the Grand Werewolf is coming. But since he is alone, it's not really that big a deal. Especially with our new Blessed Axe. We could shoot at him if we want. Wouldn't hurt, but I'm not too worried about it. As long as we keep our stamina up and keep knocking him down, we should be completely fine. I'm gonna make him a little afraid by intimidating him. We are taking a bit of damage. I'm not doing quite as well as I'd like to here. That's okay. He's pretty intimidated. Knock him down real fast. Back off. If we keep our fear factor up, then it's not that big of an issue. We did enrage him, which is not good. Last time I managed to do it without enraging him, I guess because I shot him. Let's try that. Oh, that did not go so well. Let's try that again. Knock him down. There we go. So that was pretty close, but survived by the skin of our teeth. And that's it for Chapter 7. Are you the blacksmith's daughter? Your father's looking for you. He's very worried. You know my father? Yeah. Don't worry with me. There's no more danger, no more nasty wolves. The man with the glasses showed me a hiding place. The man with the glasses? He sees invisible things, but he hides near the maple trees. He doesn't want people to see him. If you manage to find a kind soul in this accursed forest, Good for you. You were lucky, kid. Yes, so the child is kind of creepy. That's okay. We saved her anyway. And we've got our experience. We've got a nice amount of money. And we once again will level up. There we go. And I believe there is another quick cutscene right here. No, we're just going to be heading straight into the next map, I guess. Okay, so thank you all for watching, and I'll, I will see you guys in Chapter 8.